In this video, we'll talk about the timeline and key points in the Motion Manager. Whenever you create motion in a SOLIDWORKS animation, you'll have to create a key point that'll dictate the start and end of that motion. Between the key points that dictate the start and end, you'll have what's called a change bar. So you'll see on the screen for this four second long animation that we have a few different color key points and a few different color change bars. The thin black change bar at the top dictates the overall length of our animation, going from zero seconds to four seconds. Each key point can be dragged to any point in the timeline. We can also right click and we can edit that point manually. Now you'll notice that the animation in this case has only gone up to four seconds. Even if we recalculate it, the key point that we put at four seconds for our motion stops there and there's no more motion after that point. The green change bar indicates a driving motion. If you had a motor or if you manually moved a component in an assembly, then that would be the driving motion. The rest of the yellow bars are driven motion. So these are motions that are dictated by the original driving component. Now, if we manually drag this key point, you'll notice that the green change bar follows it, but the yellow ones haven't. That's because we haven't recalculated our animation. Each time you make a change to the animation, it's a good idea to recalculate it. There are several different colors for key points and change bars, and each of them mean a different thing. For instance, a red change bar indicates a change in appearance, or an orange change bar indicates that you've exploded a component. So as we get through this video series, you'll notice that several different color change bars and key points come up, and as they do, I'll point out what they mean and how we created them.